Today's demonstration is about SD1 and how to make the best use of your network. MPLS is commonly used to connect the different sites of businesses. Uh, it's reliable, it's private, but it's expensive. Um, in case you want to expand your network and have more bandwidth for your um, growing number of applications, and the interactive application and SaaS application. Internet is cheap, but it doesn't have the advantages of MPLS. So we will see with SNS how to use internet to securely expand your network uh, and your MPLS. So let's imagine that you have a branch and all your branches are the same. Um, they have one MPLS access and two additional internet um, accesses. So you can't um, connect your different sites in clear uh, because you want privacy. Uh, so in order to guarantee this privacy, basically you will do VPN between the different branches and HQ and data center. So in our case, we have two different uh, VPN uh, that connect to the HQ. And these VPN are uh, VTI. And the advanta advantage of uh, VTI is that the routing does uh, um, redirect the traffic, and so you can use router object to dynamically route the traffic to the, uh, the correct tunnel and the uh, HQ. So if we move on to the routing, uh, for instance, um, and the destination, uh, the routing to the HQ, uh, basically, the gateway is not a simple host, but a router object, so SD1 router. And basically, um, the uh, traffic will be route uh, between the three different gateway. So let's see more in more detail this, uh, this object. And here we are. So basically, uh, with this router object, uh, we applied um, SD1 SLA uh, so that the traffic is routed, routed to the three different gateways. So um, my two tunnels on my two internet accesses and my MPLS gateway. So we have uh, in first uh, MPLS because that's the most reliable and most private uh, access. And then we have the two other uh, VPN tunnels so that all the traffic uh, going to the HQs um, by order uh, take first the MPLS and then the VPN. We as well added some SLA uh, so that in case of really degraded latency and packet loss, uh, basically uh, one of the access uh, or one of the link is discarded and the two remaining uh, are, are used so that there is no administration task to, um, uh, to, uh, to take this action. We know that we have uh, specific traffic that require uh, more um, um, quality uh, network and more performance. And basically, we will use uh, as well um, other uh, router to adapt the uh, SLA uh, so that um, this traffic use always the best um, link um, adapted to the requirement. So for instance, we have here um, the 
uh, traffic going to my business web application, for instance, like the ERP and so on. And they are sensitive to the latency. So basically, I have router uh, specifically set uh, to um, use the um, links that has the best uh, latency. Uh, so if we go to that router, basically, it tests on the uh, uh, HTTPS port. And if the latency is above 30 milliseconds, basically, uh, the link will be discarded and traffic will go only to the links that have latency below 30, uh, 30 milliseconds. On the same way, uh, we did another rule for uh, the VoIP traffic, the uh, internal VoIP traffic uh, that have specific requirements and we uh, set a specific router for that. And as well, we set a specific um, queue uh, or specific QoS to reserve some bandwidth uh, for this traffic and to protect it from the other uh, business uh, or non-business applications so that the quality of the voice is good. So in the same way, if we go to this specific router, uh, basically, we have different uh, SLA so that um, uh, the voice is as well, uh, always good. So for instance, we have a latency that is below um, 100 milliseconds, a jitter below 2 milliseconds, and a packet loss rate that is uh, below 0.5%. Uh, per So that's for the traffic that goes through the VPN and through the MPLS. But since we have uh, direct internet access, uh, we could want to, um, to allow uh, internet traffic directly from the branch and not um, going through the data center to go to the internet. So basically, we put in place a specific rule here uh, that you can see. Uh, for the traffic going to our Office 365 so that it goes to um, a, pop, uh, a point of presence a pop that is located near to this branch. And we use the newly uh, released web service object uh, to classify the traffic. And basically, we apply the specific uh, router uh, so that the traffic uh, going uh, directly to the two uh, gateway, so the internet gateway, and using only the um, gateway that have a latency below 30 milliseconds and a packet loss below 1%. Uh, so that uh, when Office 365 goes directly to internet, he has a good quality and users have a good feeling. So we have seen that uh, we can make the best use of the MPLS in tandem with internet accesses. We could use only internet accesses with VPN if needed. Uh, as well, we have seen that the router object uh, can help to uh, either do a global routing policy uh, for all the traffic um, and do uh, some dynamic change of the gateway or using the uh, filtering policy to do specific rules for the uh, business traffic um, either going through the VPN or going to internet. Uh, we have um, um, several other tools to verify that the uh, SD1 feature works correctly. Um, first, we have uh, real-time monitoring uh, that help uh, to validate that the different router and the gateway have a good quality uh, and a good SLA. So, for instance, for the uh, transaction, transaction SLA going through the VPN, no problem here. Uh, we can see that the latency is below the requirement. But for the VoIP, we can see that 
uh, we only have the uh, MPLS uh, that fulfills the latency, jitter, and packet loss. Uh, the internet access have a jitter that is uh, above the threshold. So basically the traffic will only go through the MPLS for the VoIP. And for the other uh, routers, no problem. The threshold uh, or the SLA are, uh, in, are good. Um, as well, we have an history of the different <coughs> of the different uh, measurements that have been uh, taken. Uh, we will select a day where we have some data. So, for instance, on yesterday, uh, we can see that for the transaction, we can select the different links that we have and compare the quality uh, between the uh, different uh, link. So we see that uh, we have had some failure here. On the contrary to the other VPN that were quite good. And unfortunately, our MPLS had some uh, high disturbance, which was not a problem since we had the two other link where uh, available. Um, as well, we have some logs that show that which uh, router and which gateway are used uh, and when they uh, switch. And for the long run, we have some reports that uh, show the history of the uh, latency uh, and basically that the uh, router slash gateway with the highest latency so we see that the worst uh, gateway uh, so that we can discuss with our uh, provider and we have as well uh, the worst uh, router slash gateway uh, with the overall status uh, with the percentage of times times in degraded uh, status. So we see that uh, for this uh, specific router that the VPN uh, were not uh, set uh, with the expected uh, level of performance. So traffic went through the MPLS. Mm -hmm.